the Tippy Joe Show, and we are here with Jeff and Jeannie outside of Shirley's Diner at Hell Harvest. How's it going, guys? It's going good. good. Yeah. Now, we are here in Potosi, Missouri at your haunt. And how long have you guys been here? This will be our sixth, sixth season. season yeah. Oh, wow. Six yep. seasons. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, real quick, what's the address out here so people can find you? It's 19126 West Highway 8, Potosi, Missouri. And where can they look you up? We are on Google Maps, Apple Maps. We're on Facebook, Instagram. We do a little TikTok. And we have a website. It's uh, hellharvest.com. Love that. So we got the chance to walk through the haunt a little bit earlier to see everything that you guys have. And can I just say, it is absolutely terrifying. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're it so is ready. huge. It is huge. <laughs> massive. Way bigger. It, it's a trick, really. Because when you pull in, you don't think it's going to be as massive as it is. But as you were walking us through, I was like, my Lord, this goes on forever <laughs> and ever. It's never ending. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we try to give you a good thing for your 20 bucks. So. Heck yes, you do. Yeah. And we're stupid. We add stuff every year. Every year. <laughs> well, I mean, why not, though? Yeah, right. you, all, you always feel like you got to outdo yourselves mm -hmm. year after year. Yeah, so. yeah got to make it bigger and better every yeah, year. It's mm -hmm. like we'll get a little idea, and the next thing you know, it's like the whole plan's just like, okay, now we're doing all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I like how every structure gives you a little bit of something, no matter what yeah. your favorite horror genre is. If it's clowns, if it's the uh, religious stuff, or just the straight-up gore. You got it, and you deliver. We try to hit all the nails. We try to, you know, get everybody's, like, comfort levels, like, on edge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. So do you guys know how many scenes you have out here right now? Uh, about 50 plus. Wow. Yeah, that is a many. lot. Yeah. Um, about 19 buildings or structures, rather, and about 50 plus scenes. How big is your crew to, like... Do, I feel like I'm hogging all of them. <laughs> oh, you're good. I think we have about between 30 and 40 actors per night yeah. depending mm -hmm. and then yeah. hiding in corners <laughs> yeah they're... some hiding in corners some right in your face yeah <laughs> uh. yeah yeah they do a good job yeah. we they a lot of them get me when i'm walking through and i know they're there so they were just practicing today and some of them were just standing there and just coming around the corner like, oh, oh. Right. <laughs> yeah and then some of them did scream at us yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were practicing Really they were doing their job, I'm point. telling you. Yeah, you guys came on actor <laughs> yeah, training yeah, night. So. Yeah. Which is perfect because right. we got to experience just a little bit of what we're going to be seeing whenever your season actually starts officially, which is when? Tell us. September 27th. Nice. And do people pre-purchase tickets to this? Uh, you can get them on our website um, or you can buy them at, you know, when you get here. It's awesome. Yep. So what's your favorite haunt here? Um, here? Hmm. I do like this scene a lot. Um, this would probably be my favorite, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. It's a good one. Jeannie, what's your favorite? Uh, mine is probably the diner also, but uh, our new witch house. I am very excited about <laughs> that. Um, we took a trip to Salem last year. We celebrated our 25th anniversary, and we took a trip to Salem, and when we got back, I'm like, I want a witch house. We are doing a witch house. I, I love it. I love it so much. And, and I and I am partial to the motel, too. That's, that's my scene, and I love the motel. Yeah. Uh, just the motel was uh <laughs> not planned no. last year we we happened to come across a motel sign and it's a motel that we knew about for years yeah. and we actually looked at to do a haunt at a long time ago and like it, it, ago. it had been blown over in the storm and so i offered the people some money and we got it and it's gigantic and it was a hassle to get down here but so we're like we're like oh we'll just put it in storage and maybe next year who knows and then by it's the nice time we got by the time we yeah. got from hillsboro to cadet we were built a motel so. oh i love that yeah. so much I'm, I'm lucky how many people can say their husband builds them a whole motel yes. <laughs> for their scene you know so so six years and every year you guys add a little something more where do you pull inspiration from oh boy we didn't take we didn't go into this business lightly it wasn't something we were just like hey let's open a haunted house like you know like you know um we've been studying and working on things for 25 years <laughs> attending um, trade shows attending and conventions and, and compiling props and, and going to classes and yeah, yeah it was, visiting other haunts and, and things like well, that yeah we've seen so many great haunts across um, the country what a fun job by the way <laughs> just <laughs> let me go do some research <laughs> i yeah. love that so, when our kids got a little older and got you know out of high school and where you weren't running them all around all the time it was just like the window of opportunity opened up and it was like yes it's, it's our time yeah you know and our kids are right here with us doing it too so when i say it's our time it's our family's time you know um but we just you know 
try to stay on top of everything and try to appeal to what everybody likes, but not losing what we like in there too. You know, it's it, we try to put our own twist on things and make it original. We don't, you know, rely on. Yeah. She tries to talk me into a Christmas haunt every year. And oh like, come on! That would Krampus be so is cool. my favorite. At the, end of the season, you're so exhausted though, and I'm like, my heart's yeah. just not in the Christmas thing. So I'm like. Uh. <sighs> Wouldn't yeah. that be so cool? Like at Christmas time or like just a scene? Like, like, you know, like Christmas in December. Time. Yeah, yeah. December. Do, like, uh, just deck the whole place oh, out in Christmas. Yeah. Oh, now every that year, she's would like, we be should. cool. I'm like, I'm it's like, cold so though. Oh, that's, our, that's our thing. I mean, you, you walk through. I mean, we, we're indoor and outdoor, but, you know, essentially you're, you're yeah. outside through, you know, bits and it's. it's Sometimes St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri area weather is yeah, 50 not degrees friendly. Or yeah, negative 50 degrees. You just so. never know. Yes, yeah, December, so. <laughs> that's very. And true. I assume it's safe to say that, that have you guys like always been horror junkies? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where it comes from, but it's always been there. So yeah, yeah. always. Yeah. And yeah, we. We get inspiration from like, you know, just some of our scenes were like, oh, wow, that was really cool, you know, and nobody's seen it because we saw it in New Jersey or wherever, <laughs> yeah. there, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. Now, you mentioned a little earlier about a prop company. Yeah, we also, uh, we own Graveyard Ghoul Productions and we uh, make props for other haunted houses and theme parks and like animatronics mainly and uh yeah, stuff like that. And you pointed so. out a couple of years while walking through here. Yeah, yeah. Man. All, of, yes. all the props we make are in here. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, we buy other props too because you can't make everything. But uh, all our props are in here somewhere. So yeah. yeah. Really cool. Yeah, thank you. I think my favorite one that you pointed out, of mm -hmm. course, you didn't point out every single one, but the, of the ones that you did point out is the Ouija board. Yeah. That one that's, is really is, cool. Yeah, that's, I love yeah, that one. that's been a popular one. Yeah. yeah. We have one in. Uh, Cedar Point uh, has one in their Halloween show, the amusement park up in Ohio. Yeah, Ohio. Yeah. It's one of those subtle catch you off guard things when you're walking through and you're too busy yeah. worried about what's over here. I'm not going to tell you what was over here, yeah. but what was over here, and then well, this thing's well, over here scared. Well, we made that at the haunt show. We were at the trade show, and I would have people, like, they'd be walking down, and they'd see it moving, and they would make a big arc. They're like, oh, nope. hell no. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're at a haunt show. What are you doing? <laughs> too funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about this land that you have here. This is such a big area that you guys are covering with your haunt, which is just incredible to walk through and see everything that you guys have done. But tell me a little bit about the land. This feels so spooky. You guys have so many different like little houses and stuff that are here. Have they always been here or is that something you built? Um, Two of them were here. here yeah. Oh, and the cabin. Yeah, the cabin, cabin was, here, was here, but everything else we've here. built. But this area um, once was a little town called Shirley. We knew nothing about it when we bought the property. And people have come by and like, hey, there used to be a gas station here, actually. Oh. And there used to be like a general store. general store, and there used to be a restaurant and a grocery store and like five or six houses along the road. And they brought us pictures. It's crazy. Like, huh. we never knew any of this. So that's how we got the inspiration for Shirley's Diner, because the town of Shirley. Oh, okay. Nice time. Little gems yes. in there of things like pieces of history and just yeah little like play on things and stuff but yeah it's kind of cool to find out some of these things people stop out all the time they're like yeah my grandma lived in that cabin you know what i mean it's like oh that's one room wild cabin, you know? i wish yeah. the general store was still here because we saw pictures of it i'm like oh that would yeah. be so, oh, so much insane. we could do with yeah. that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just imagine like all the old photos, like how much inspiration you guys pull from that. Like, man, that that's got to be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And we're hunting for stuff like year round, yeah. like even when it's too cold out to work on the haunted house, you know, we're looking for stuff for the haunted house. You can't yes. miss an opportunity or a good deal. That's you right. got to be on it. Yeah. We really yeah. looked out because we bought the adjoining five acres behind us and there's warehouses up there that we're eventually going to turn into. They just got bigger and bigger yeah, plans. Yeah, bigger plans. So eventually we're going to hopefully do a second haunt in the near future but um the storage is so nice up there because now when we see something we're like okay we got yep. the room. <laughs> that. We'll have the plan for it soon. <laughs> See, that's a double-edged sword right yeah. there. <laughs> that's yeah. a slippery slope into hoarding, I'm telling you. <laughs> As creatives, like, we're creative people. We're always doing something crafty, and I can tell you, like, anytime we see something, we're like, well, I don't need it now. That's, yep, that's how we are. But in 10 years, I might have somewhere. a need for that. <laughs> yes. yeah. It's nice, though, because when you go to theme out a scene or something, you go up there, and you're like, oh, I forgot I had this. Yes. Okay, this will look perfect in there. It's like that aha moment have you seen that there's a tiktok account that i follow it's like this old guy and his two sons they're grown-ups you know but they make like the classic like 
aha, I forgot, oh. it's a dad moment. And there's one where he's like, I need a piece of wood that's like this with another one stacked on top. And the dad's like, oh, and he I runs to the that. basement and he digs through and he's like, I've got it. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, yeah, and that's hilarious. why we all hoard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For that moment. <laughs> yes, absolutely. How many actors do you guys have here again? Um, about 35 to 40. Yeah, it's a big crew. Well, and when we first opened, we only had like 15 or 20. So we've grown every year. I mean, obviously, we've heck yeah. Scenes, but we've added scenes. Every time you add scenes, you have to add yeah. actors. I guess you don't have to, but we do because yeah. and it's no fun walking through. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Our actors bring it all to life, though. I mean, you they walk do. through and... You know, mm -hmm. you appreciate the sets and the scenery and the lighting and all that, but when the actors are in there, yeah. and they spark it. Yeah. It's like, it's magic. You know, it's like Disneyland. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, love I love that. I love that comparison. <laughs> yes, know, and that's how I feel anyway. I'm partial, but you know, um, yeah, the, our actors we got a we got a great crew, and we always. I mean, we are so fortunate. We have actor retention. Like this year, we really didn't even have to advertise to get more staff. Yeah, that's like, what Jeff was mentioning earlier. Staff. A lot of returnees yeah. are like, nah. You know, the only time we ever lose anybody is if they go to college. Go to college. You know, like we have, you know, so many that. Back yeah, time. I feel like that says a lot yeah. about your establishment, about your haunt. If people are returning to work for you guys, then you know that it's a good environment and that this is a yeah, good we haunt. To. We try to make it like that. We've we've all had terrible bosses, and we don't want to be that yeah. person. Yeah, so try really you know, hard yeah, hard to take care of our crew. So yeah, beautiful. Yeah. That's and a beautiful have, thing. Yeah, we have a lot of good people that work here. So we know we all get along. We have our haunt drama every now and again, but who doesn't? Of course, yeah. <laughs> it's a fun Other than that, it's all fun. <laughs> but it yeah. down, you're like, it's a spooky soap opera, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. come November when it's closed, we're like, what do we do every week? Oh, Your yeah. Friends are gone. Like, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. That's when you open the Christmas haunt, huh? Oh. You got them warehouses now. <laughs> Heck yes. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you need some actors for a Christmas haunt, we might be able to make it happen. <laughs> you already got the elf costume. Oh, yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm prepared. I've been ready for this my whole life. <laughs> That's too fun. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> too much work. Too much work. I'm tired. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I bet. Uh, so when do you guys start working to bring this to life? How early in the year do you guys get going? Um, uh, like... Like we've already started planning for next year. Oh wow! Like our plans are already set in the works for next year of what we're gonna do. Now, as far as like breaking ground and start building, um, as soon as it gets warm. Yeah, I was like, I feel like March, it never stops yeah. except yeah. just winter. But like, <laughs> yeah, really. We'll start scavenging and like scouring the, the earth for what we need. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like starting really in it, now. <laughs> and with, with the prop company, like so the. The big trade show is in March or late February. It depends on the year, but it's always right around that time. And so as soon as this shuts down, we have to get all of our stuff ready for that show and get our new products made and get everything. So it's like, it's never ending. Yeah, I forgot, yeah. like, forget, uh, they're not uh, just building this. They're building other things. Like it's a yeah. bad thing. It's a, it's a good Sorry. thing, but it's just, it never stops. You know, it's yeah. like, people are like, oh, well, I guess you start in September. It's like, oh my God, no. <laughs> no, no. It's a 365 day a year. That's when we're like down to the grind. Like, yeah. you gotta get it done in September. Yeah. yeah. So how, I know you said earlier, you guys go all over the place to find props and cool things for the haunt. Like, what is the furthest you've driven to pick up something cool? Uh, we've been to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh. Yeah. Um, where else have we been? We've been Pennsylvania, Kansas City. Yeah. We've been. Ohio. You Indiana, name it, the Midwest. Indiana, like, Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. Wisconsin. Iowa. We've been everywhere. You yeah. can always find it. Like, it, it seems like whenever you're looking for something, you can never find it close. And so then you finally, you, you need it, so you have to pull the trigger on something, and then the next year you'll find 10 of them, like right yeah. now, or something. So yes. it always works yeah. like that. But. And it's funny, I can always tell you whatever the hot Pinterest crazes of like repurposing things. So oh, yeah. yeah. Like if I'm looking for something and I can't find it, it's because there's like a, like a new like Pinterest craze. Like oh. we were looking for a bus, everybody was turning them into those schoolies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or I was looking for an old school TV and everybody was turning them into fish tanks. <laughs> yes. Oh. Like, yeah. like, why can't I find these things? What is the hot craze? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, six years is a long time for you guys to be operational, which is super awesome. But I'm sure in that six year time frame, you guys have had some wild stuff happen out here. Anything stand out particularly that you could oh. <laughs> give us a little glimpse into some crazy times that might have happened? Um, 
we've had I mean, we, somebody pass out so, last year um oh that's from always right? fun yeah. <laughs> Well, hey, that's how you know it's real. Heads up. It is a truck out here. You are walking through <laughs> They hadn't even made it Woods, in yet. Hills. They were in line oh. still. Yeah, and then. <laughs> they just shouldn't have came in. They should have Yeah, they were home. ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've, had, uh, we've had people pass out. We've had people um, pee themselves. Uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, we've had. That's why I favorite, said I was going to wear a diaper. One of our actors. It was so <laughs> funny. Like, this little tiny girl. Um, oh, yeah. Just working in one of the houses down there, and I'm walking. I walk through all night to make sure everything's working and nobody has any problems. And uh, I'm walking through, and she comes up and she goes, "Jeff, uh, there's a hole in the floor in this house." And I'm like, "A hole in the floor? Like, how did we get a hole in the floor?" And she said, "I don't know." And so I go in there, and I had an axe like leaned against the wall as a prop. And so you see the hole, and you see divot, and divot, 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 like divot, divot. Oh. Yeah, it was. It, she's <laughs> tiny. Gonna... And I said, I go, Lainey, were you hitting the floor with the axe? Well, yeah. Like, well, <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? It's an axe, and it's a wood floor. Like, <laughs> and she's, she's, you know, she's like, oh, I'll come tomorrow and fix it. I'm like, it's fine, I'll fix it. So she came back the next night, and I had screwed it to the wall. I said, hey, I go, you lost your axe privileges. <laughs> 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 It cracks me up though. I'm like, what did you think? Oh, that's <laughs> too funny. Yeah. Yeah, she just didn't. thought she was tapping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was spooking people. She's doing her job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they get into it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Some, of them, I mean, it's crazy. Like the stuff they'll do. Like I was telling you, that one girl. You're walking into the room and you're like, oh, is she taking a break? Where's she at? And then all of a sudden she's in front of you. I'm like, where did you even come from? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that room has nowhere to hide. So I really, know. where is she hiding? I think she's in the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know. That's the only thing I can think. But. All our actors love to get up on the ceiling. If they, if yeah. they can get to the rafters, they want to go for it. I'm like, please order yourself. Uh, <laughs> that is the spookiest, though, having somebody come from above because you're not expecting it. Like, you're looking down, like, what's going to get me down below? And if somebody drops down, ooh, yeah. that's terrifying. Yeah. So that's smart. Yeah. Smart yeah. thinking on their yeah. part. Good. <laughs> they're, they're wild. Yeah. They really get into it. Yeah. One girl that flips over all the seats in the bus. And yeah. She's yeah, a little acrobat, huh? Tumbelina. Yeah, we have Tumbelina. Some, Tumbelina. Tumbelina. I some love really it. Some good actors. Yeah. Yeah. Very awesome. Well, guys, I think we'd love to get a little walkthrough of some of the scenes that you guys have set up. Give you guys just a little bitty taste yes. of, peek of what you can find. Yeah. Any advice for people coming out? Like, wear really, yeah. really good shoes. That's yeah. what I was on. This is a terrain. This is not just your warehouse, flat, walk-through, haunted house. This is a, a haunted town. And we have this on, is Shirley we now. Have on the website, <laughs> yeah. but still some people show up in high heels, and it's like, oh, <sighs> man. This, this is a date are, night for tennis shoes. Wear yes. the cute dress with the tennis shoes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with yeah. us, for yeah. letting us walk through. We appreciate through. it. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah nice for sure. All right, let's see some spooky stuff. <laughs>